Okay, keep going. What else? You got two more things. Yeah? Yeah, you got to train. Yeah, and there's one more thing. Yeah, yeah. You already ate, you already slept, you already trained. Not get injured, and that's part of the eating and sleeping, right? What about the thing this guy's doing right now? What are you doing? Oh, there, really already? <laughs> I'm now you're really young for that. You can wait a couple years till they kick in. Okay, screw you. Right? Fluids. Fluids matter. Um, this stuff matters more than you can imagine. Okay? Uh, I have the privilege of wearing this jersey because I had to basically redo my swimming career. And I had to redo my swimming career because of a very small nutrient called iron. Okay? Iron is the thing that carries oxygen in our blood, and if we don't have enough of it, we don't breathe well. We don't breathe well, we don't swim well. We don't swim well, we waste eight years swimming our butts off, and it goes nowhere. That's what I did all through college, because I was anemic. I had something called sports anemia, but I didn't know it until years later, when, I mean, I've been a dietitian for way too long, but before I was a dietitian, I sat where you are, okay? So, like I was a swimmer, swam with anemia for eight years, got me nowhere, became a dietitian, learned everything there was to know about nutrition, remained an athlete, and in my 40s, when I figured this out, discovered triathlon, a way to use swimming, and also discovered that it makes a huge difference when you can actually breathe and make use of that oxygen. That is one small thing. They were testing my blood, they didn't even know it. This is a nutri nutrient thing. Everybody ever heard of iron? Okay, you had it tested, right? Ever heard of something called ferritin? All right, ferritin is a very special form of iron that you store. And if you happen to be female, it's even more important, okay? But if you're male, it matters too. All right, there's something else that can happen. So we have to eat enough, I said that. What I'm gonna do is talk to you about a number of things today that'll make the difference between you swimming pretty good and you swimming like a rock star. So your choice, right? So eating is awesome. There are basics to do there. But all of you have this uh, thing, it's called your lives. How many of you go to school? Uh, yeah. You go to school, right? You got homework? You got homework? You got other responsibilities, right? And how many hours a week do you spend training? Too many. How many? Way too many. Too many. Too many. Too many. No, don't give me too many. Fourteen? Eight. Eight. Seventeen. Seventeen. Seventeen hours swimming. How many calories is that? Two. Give me an idea how many calories might you burn in an hour swimming? No idea? Four. Somewhere between four hundred. And 600. 400 and 600. How many calories do you need just by walking around your body? Any idea there? Okay, well, get your phones out. You're going to find out. All right. So, here, this is going to take a couple of minutes. If you don't have a phone, look at somebody who has a phone. Find out. All right. So, if you're going to the internet, you're getting an app called Eat to Win. Eat to win. E A T to win. All right, we're gonna start with that. I need the password. So, while you're trying to download that, I wish you guys were conscious. Think about this. Most of you only need somewhere around 2,500 to 3,500 calories a day, depending on your size. That's just to walk around and breathe. And then we just said that you're going to burn 600 calories roughly in a swim workout. So how many calories in a two-hour workout are you going to need in addition to the walking around calories? 3 hours. Just just said 3 hours. That's 1800 calories in addition to the 25 we said you just require to walk around. How many is that? Come on, people. Math. I know it's Saturday. Um, it's over 4,000 calories. Yeah? Okay. Anybody here ever looked at a label? I 
So you eat something. You drink something. Yeah. And then you go into practice for how long? An hour and 30. And then you come out, and what's the first thing you do before you put on your clothes and go to school? Go to school. You shower. And you brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Eat. I hope you ate again in there before those teeth got brushed. Yeah. Okay. So how many of you eat again after practice? All right. If you don't eat after practice, what are you doing? Waiting till lunch? Seriously? Okay. So here's the thing. Let me, let me explain. You're going into an endurance workout. If you have no fuel in your body because you ate, you know, hours beforehand at dinner, right before you went to bed, eight hours earlier, right, because you had eight hours of sleep, <coughs> ha, ha, ha. You have nothing in the tank. You go into the pool. You're expecting yourself to do this workout. You come out of the pool. Now it's time for school. Maybe you've eaten something. Maybe you haven't. You've got to go to school? And then survive until lunch. I don't care if lunch is at 10 a.m. That's a long time to go without food. So can any of the repair happen if there's nothing in there to repair with? You need to break it down. No. OK, so that's point number one. You have to surround those workouts with the fuel you need during the workout. OK? That's key. There's, a, there's another, we talked a little bit about iron. There's another thing that happens with swimming in any sport. Sometimes you can be training so hard, you're actually not hungry enough to eat. Has that ever happened to anybody? Yes. Okay. So the deal is, there's this condition called relative energy deficiency. Okay? Fancy term to basically say, you're not eating enough for your training. And your hunger may or may not be kicking in. You'll know if you are not feeling good in workouts if your training is not going well, if your meats are not getting faster, there are obvious signs. If you're having trouble sleeping, okay? So all of these are signs of overtraining, right? And it all has to do with, am I eating enough? Am I sleeping enough? I know just got the training covered. But if I'm not doing those two things, how can I possibly do what I'm asking of my body, right? So that's pretty simple, yeah? Okay. Um, can I bore you with a couple of possible slides? We talked a little bit about glucose. Can we talk about uh, protein for a minute? Please. Yeah, let's talk about protein for a minute. Okay. So, um, oh, okay. <laughs> body, except for a few, the eyes, a few in the liver, turns over every three weeks to four months. So every bit of you in about four months will be different. Mm -hmm. You look the same, maybe, but every cell in your body, if you know anything about the cells, has got to come up with a way to replicate itself in the correct manner with the proteins, fats, and carbohydrates that it needs to create that system. If you don't have the fuel on board, if you don't have good stuff on board, it's not there. It's like trying to build a house with really with termite infested boards. It doesn't work. So you have to have the stuff on board to actually rebuild you in the way that you want. Now, I hope you don't want to look like this, but if you do think about the fact that all those muscles you're busy tearing down all the time, you want to rebuild them in the best way possible, then you are going to need some protein. But we're going to talk about, about a map. Because if I had to ask you, what's the most important nutrient you need? What are you going to tell me? Are you sure you're going to tell me protein? Carbohydrates. Yeah, but as a swimmer, carbohydrates are the deal. But does that mean that you don't need any protein? No. But when you hear about all this nonsense, sorry, called keto, forget it. If you hear about, good, I'm really glad that you do not know what keto is, then just ignore that word. We don't even talk about it. <laughs> okay. Everything you're seeing out there today is all about protein. Protein's great. We live in the U.S., people. We don't have any protein deficiencies. What we do have 
is an exercise deficiency. I'm not among you, all right? And we definitely could up the quality of our carbohydrates a bit, okay? So, we're gonna get there again. All right, let's keep going. Uh, okay, so basically, this is what we need, okay? Number one, why is water first? What are you comprised of? Water.
Nature Valley granola bars, they are more carbohydrates. We like we like another way back. on the macros, right? Have you ever heard of that term? Yeah. Your mom does that. Yes. That, okay, so there's, there's this other sport out there in the world that's called CrossFit. And they came up with all the keto stuff and all the macro stuff. But here's the deal. You need a lot more than macros. So you're going to need, you need your carbohydrates. We talked about that. You need some protein. Some. How many grams did you figure out? Okay, maybe a little bit more, but yeah, good, good enough. You certainly don't need to keep loading on the protein, right? And you need some fat. Where are you going to get your fat from? Where? Oh, vegetarians. Ah, one, two, and the source. That would be the source. So that was, where else do you get your fat? McDonald's? Yeah, that would also be bad too. Where? What? I have one else. Avocado! Thank you. Avocado. Okay, what about, what about that peanut butter we mentioned? Apples. Apples wouldn't have any, right? But the nuts, the peanut butter would. We would. But that would be a great snack. That's an awesome snack. It really would be. Okay, what about, wait, wait, wait. What do we got over here? Let's think about the breakfast this morning. All right. Where did the protein come from this morning? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, else? A little egg, cream, chocolate milk. What else did I see? Yogurt. Yogurt. Yes. Okay. Where did the carbohydrate come from? Muffins. 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 Where else? French toast. Orange juice. The milk had carbohydrate too. So did the yogurt. Yeah. Okay. Did the eggs have any carbohydrate? No. 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 They had protein and fat. Okay. So those of you who are interested in food chemistry, pay attention. All right. We need some other stuff though. What is all this? Anybody heard of vitamin D? Yes. Okay, so here's the deal. There's one vitamin that we make in our bodies only under certain conditions, and that is vitamin D. Can you make it right now at this time of year? No. No, why not? Well, it's not just that it's not sunny. The angle of the sun has to be such that it interacts with the molecules in your skin. And at this latitude, it doesn't react from September through April. So even if you went outside in Maryland and stood in the sun, it would do nothing. Yeah, we gotta go to Florida, sorry. So, so where does this stuff come from? We don't eat it. Okay, first of all, let me ask you, what does that stuff do? Why do we care about vitamin D? Yes. <laughs> like a hormone in your body. It interacts on so many levels, it's insane. It seems to affect everything from brain health to bone health and a whole bunch of stuff in between, including immunity. And things like getting sick. Yeah, like getting cold. So if your vitamin D level is low, it will matter a lot. So it will matter short term in terms of whether you can fight infection and long term because of these things that we call bones that are actually, um, you think about it this way, do you know what it takes to contract a muscle? What is it that, that happens in a muscle? There's an electrical reaction and there's there's a mineral that has to like cross barriers and it causes the ability of muscle to contract. Sodium. There's sodium, but there's more than sodium. It's calcium. calcium. Yes, I did.
There is no calcium naturally in that milk or that milk. It's added. Look at the ingredients. That doesn't mean it's bad. It just means that it's added. So understand this one added because that's what you have put in there. Interesting. Okay? All right. Back to that. If it's 300 milligrams, how many cups do you need in a day? Four. Yes. Three, four. But what about this one? Three, four, fifty. All right. How many of you drank three cups of something or had a yogurt, three cups of cheese every day? You're getting roughly three. Okay, well, good. So you, three to five people, you're able to contract all your muscles in the brace. The rest of you, we got to work on it. One extra a day. Can you do that? One extra a day. Yes. You know when it would be most beneficial? Either right before your workout or right after your workout. Milk is kind of cool. It's got protein, carbohydrate, and that calcium. All right, enough. Let's keep going. We talked about that. Uh, one more thing. Does anybody take a vitamin? Can they take a vitamin? Okay. Awesome. Yay. Why do you take a vitamin? Alright. You guys? Yes? Why do you take a vitamin? Do you take a vitamin? Sure. You do?
basically un completely unhealthy, right? If, is there any way to have a perfect diet or perfect food? Not really. But if 80% of the time, 80% of the time, you're trying to do pretty good, that leaves you a full on 20% of the time to do not so good, right? So what might be not so good? Ice cream. I may eat ice cream. Yeah, Cheetos. Okay, snacks. McDonald's, somebody said. Chick-fil-A. Whatever else. Okay? Yeah. 
Okay, so let's talk a little bit about that. The key is you got to eat before warm ups, right? You got to time your eating so that you are not eating food, real solid food, within an hour of your event. You don't want solids. You can drink. You can drink. Drinking is fine. Drinking water, drinking Gatorade before the event. But solid should pretty much stop an hour before the event. Which means if you have, let's say you get there, you, you've eaten breakfast, you do your warm up, and your first event isn't for two hours, you're great. If your first event is like say right away, and then you, you have two more hours till the next one, good. Then you do your event, eat again, do the second event, eat again. Okay, but you should time it, look at it. It will help. The worst thing, have you ever gotten on the blocks and you're actually hungry? Yeah. That is not good. <laughs> so, a planet, all right? All right, let's see. Okay, okay. How do you know if you've drunk enough water? Yes, that is smart. So the color will tell you it should be yellow, it was bright yellow, you get in there and drink some water. Alright, um, alright, that's it.